This is Jeff Palmer with the Temple of VTech. We're standing in front of the beautiful new 2015 Acura TLX prototype. And I'm standing with Jared Hall, who is the chief designer for this project. Is that correct? Yeah, that's fair to say. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jared's going to take us on a quick walk around to highlight some of the details of his beautiful design. So this is the new Acura TLX uh, prototype. Basically, we have a lot of new technology, two new engines, uh, two new transmissions, as well as uh, precision all-wheel steering and SH all-wheel drive. And that's not really about styling, but what it does do for styling is really inspire us. It gets us excited about uh, making a car that's very emotional and showcases all the good uh, technology and high performance. And so how we do that is basically from the inside out, everything kind of comes from the mechanicals as well as the package, the layout. Um, the big picture on this one is uh, we tried to make the right size package, which allowed us to make more nimble, tighter, more uh, performance looking uh, proportion. And we do that uh, by, compared to the TL anyway, shrinking it two inches in the front, two inches in the back. It's an inch lower. It's actually uh, an inch narrower as well for good fuel economy and aerodynamics. However, visually, we work to keep the car low and wide so you don't notice that's slightly narrower. Um, this vehicle is, you know, as it showed in Mike Acovetti's video in the beginning, uh, you know, the athlete on the rings, the musculature in the body. Uh, we were also inspired by racing horses and as well as uh, a lot of the uh, Acura ALMS race cars. Uh, the fluid shapes and lines, we wanted to kind of express that in this car as well. And you can kind of see from the fender all the way back, the sharpness of the line. This is my favorite one right here, how it comes through the body side, up and over the rear haunch. Just the fluidity of those lines, supported by the sectioning. You know, there's, there's a lot of subtle negative and positive against those sharp lines to create a very athletic but also sexy kind of image. We wanted this, this Acura to be maybe a little bit more hot than, than ones in the past. But at the same time, uh, it is refined, it is uh, mature and appropriate for uh, a luxury Acura buyer. Um, the other thing we did on this car is we really worked on the stance of it. Uh, the way we did that was really push the wheels out to the edges of the body, as well as emphasize the wheel diameter. Now, on this, this is actually the show car, so it's representing 20-inch wheels. However, on the production car, it has a very similar image. And you can see the wheel-to-body gaps are actually very tight and the flushness of the wheel to the body. So it really looks planted and really expresses that low and wide uh, accurate stance that we're going for. The other thing that's really new and exciting on the Acura TLX is the new signature Acura LED lighting. Uh, we're looking at the back right now, you can kind of see this light pipe, I'll point out to you here, how it's kind of traveling around the back and down, which creates a really three-dimensional, more of an emotional uh, image, much like the body styling lines. And what's interesting about that as well is, at night, you're going to instantly recognize this car from a distance. So it has a really iconic image both day and night. And it's the same with the headlights in the front. Uh, we've also integrated a lot more uh, chrome, but in a subtle way, to kind of create a more expensive luxury feel. Um, and we've kind of matched some of what's going on in the front with the dual intake image, but it's an, more of an outlet on the back, of course. Uh, Can you comment on the uh, lack of exhaust pipe? Yes, of course, yeah. So with, with these models, uh, really Acura's uh, also kind of globally thinking about the world and, and we want to make something that's more uh, you know, acceptable to the environment, something that's a little bit more green. And so in, in our, our lineup right now, you don't really see exhaust, except on, on special vehicles where, like an NSX or something like that, or a high performance. It, it isn't to say that you won't see it on a TLX, but on um, you know, some of the earlier models, we'll have sort of the, the non-exhaust image. Okay. Talk about the, uh, the yeah, sure. Actually, a lot of, a lot of this rear deck uh, was, was tuned for aerodynamics, the trailing edge, uh, the height of the shape. But what, what actually benefited for the styling from that is just the three-dimensionality of it, really going back to a lot of the musculature I mentioned before about the, uh, the athlete's body and kind of the bone and the muscle kind of, kind of showing up through the skin to create a really taut surface, which makes it feel um, 
a lot more sculptural, uh, adds to both the luxury and the performance. Now, would you say there's a, sorry, no to problem. interrupt your train of thought, but I've already noticed people commenting that it kind of reminds them a little bit of the third generation TL. The 04 TL. Yeah. I mean, this is, I think if you saw them next to each other, it's clear this is this is the TLX. It's its its, its own thing. However, uh, of course, we look at our heritage, and this is a luxury brand, and as it is so, we, we do want to have a good, We have you know, we're starting to have some heritage, and we want to, like, showcase that, the best aspects of all of those. So, for instance, on the front, we still have the dual intakes. However, what we're doing different on the TLX versus the uh, the, old, the original TL is we're kind of connecting it at the bottom. We've added some chrome at the top. We have a lot of this gloss black to really make it a little bit more modern, a little bit more aggressive, and more luxurious. That's an interesting shape you have on the mirrors there. Did you? You may have already. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't think I did, but that, okay. that's actually uh, for the show car. Um, it, it's representative of the production car, but it is different. It's a lot more light and a little bit more, uh, you know, high tech. I can kind of show you the, uh, we have some interesting LED sequential lights that we did just for the show. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we wanted to try something a little bit different, have a little fun with the show car. Um, so this is actually not on the production car. Okay, so it'll just be a standard. Yeah, okay. yeah, there will be an LED light turn, right. but it, it doesn't have the uh, shape or the sequ sequential I turn. See. Yeah. Anything else that you can comment that you know comment on this or show car only? Um, the wheels are 20 inches, right. and and like I said, they they are relative to what the production car is. They're designed in the same manner, so they actually look like 22s, even though they're 20s. And with with our 18 inch for production, we they kind of look like 20s, even though they're 18. If if that makes any sense, yeah. we have the dark pocket uh, paint for the for the inside, yeah. and we have the the leading edge of the um, machine finish. You have a really good nice tight relationship the wheelhouse the yes wheel. yeah and you'll I mean, see that, that see that you'll see that on production yeah. as well yeah it's always one of those little details that makes a big difference yeah we, we paid a lot of attention uh to the details on this car i mean really from from the lower bumper up it's all production with the exception of the uh the door mirror okay so i mean you can see like with the headlights and the taillights we spent a lot of time on some of these details in here you know, this this is, I mean, the technology is amazing. It's like you get this incredible down the road visibility, you get more efficiency uh, of light, but then it's just, you know, like a beautiful modern watch. We've kind of taken the jewel eye image to another level. You know, based in this gloss black sea, we've got, you know, kind of these wispy lines that really integrate with the grill. You know, so we're, we've got this distinctive brand image and we want to now tie it in so that it's not just by itself, but everything's sort of relative. And then we have these shapes kind of cupping the LEDs with the satin finish and the chrome bezel, much like a modern watch. You know, so those are the kind of details we really try to kind of emphasize. This appears to have, similar to the RD, or MDX, where you'll have the driving light, or the... DRLs? DRLs, yes. Has. Yeah, it's the same basic functioning. Okay. Um, on the MDX, the LEDs are actually larger by about, uh, I believe it's 20 millimeters. Okay. So these are smaller, and the, the, the interesting point of that is we were able to condense the size of the light as much as possible and completely integrate it with the, uh, the grill shield. Gotcha. So probably similar wattage to the MDX? Yeah, um, I don't know so much about the details in in the function of the lighting. Uh, I could probably get some information for you on that. Okay. But yeah, I'm, it's very it's a similar system. Got you. Now, pretty much this styling I think was started by the ILX and carried forward somewhat, or with the RD or RLX. And now we're seeing this in the TLX. Mm -hmm. Is there anything new that you want to point out on this, you know, that you're adding to the design language, or is it pretty much in the family? Well, what I would say, um, you know, about the, the relationship to ILX, RLX, yes. So if you, you see it, which is good. What we're trying to do yeah. is get that hierarchy and get that, you know, that, that brand identity and that form language. With this one, I think it's much more sensual, a little bit more sexy. Uh, you know, the, the shapes are a lot more taut. Um, we're really getting more and more sculpture as we as we move forward with Acura, and I, I think what you can expect uh, to see in the future, as well as on this car, is something that's much more emotional. I mean, we, we definitely have uh, you know very good brand in the sense of uh, everybody knows our products are good, but now we're really trying to pump the emotion side of it as well, get people excited. <laughs>
Okay, is there anything else you want to talk about? I think you've covered quite a bit. I think so. I mean, the cabin... Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, I do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, another, another key image to this, I kind of talked about the right size packaging. And so when you look at this car, it's, it's maybe a little bit closer to the TSX in size. But interestingly enough, the interior is actually TL size. So that's a huge benefit. We haven't lost anything there, yet we've been able to condense the vehicle to get that, that exciting proportion and, right. and performance look, but maintain a luxurious, voluminous interior. Now, I probably know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask anyway. Okay. Have you guys uh, conceptualized this as a wagon variant? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not at, at liberty to really go into details about okay. future products, but... So you're saying it might be a future product? No, I'm not saying anything, <laughs> but <laughs> who knows? Stern Never know. That's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I was just curious if you guys even just played around with this language in a, in a wagon form or... Ah, uh, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time, Jared. Yeah. And uh, looks like you got pretty much a winner on your hands, Oh, thank I think. you. So thank you very much. You guys can look forward to it. I appreciate that.